Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 10th of August, 2021. Another boring day. Not much here. We did have a great opening range trade on the futures, so that made the day. Big winner there, and we had a small winner off the report, but that's it. Here's a look at the ES Front Month Futures Contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. As you can see, so tiny the candle. Nothing new happening. Uh, let's go through the major indices on the daily charts and then we'll talk about the intraday action and what's coming for Tuesday. So crude oil up 18 cents to 66.66 at the moment. Uh, had slipped back though recently. Gold, interesting candle on gold over the weekend. Right? Plunged on Sunday almost to the lows of the year then came bouncing back. 1735.30, the S&P cash loses four points, so that's kind of a blip. The NASDAQ 100 was up 23, and as you'll see, that's pretty much where they both opened. The Sox down 12 points, so still not doing much after being at new highs. The biotechs up 138, that's a big winner. Nice cup forming on the biotechs. And remember the old expression, as go banks and biotechs, so goes the market. Biotechs leading, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, what this means because obviously you know, there's a lot of signals out there that the market's a little overextended but if banks biotechs break out it's gonna be hard to fight that Russell 2000 down twelve dollars and ninety five cents I should also add at least the biotechs are showing some movement now I know a lot of its Moderna but still you know look at this the Russell 2000 what way more uh, representative of what the market's been doing which is absolutely nothing since January 1st the VIX up 57 cents to 1672 trend closes at 0.84 uh, puts the 10-day moving average at 1.09 but if I count backwards one two three one two three four five six seven eight yeah, there's a couple of big numbers dropping off over the next few days that'll bring that moving average down pretty quick actually if we get some low readings um, so that'll be interesting. NASDAQ volume only 4.1 billion shares, nothing special. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ negative 211 on the New York negative 784. Google gains 23.49. Apple down 5 cents. Uh, that's a blip for Apple, obviously. Netflix down 58 cents. Amazon down $3.07. Tesla up 14.66, Facebook down $1.90, Zoom loses 13 cents, Goldman Sachs up $1.99, it's a new closing high on Goldman Sachs, TLT the 20 year bond ETF down 53 cents, and that's after the gap down on Friday, and the Dow was down 166, Bitcoin back to 46,000, remember that 13 buy signal three weeks ago, that's right on the money there pretty interesting in terms of the intraday action here's five minute candles and you can see not very interesting friday was flat uh we gapped up a little bit here tiny amount uh on well actually the es is showing a flat opening and then the nasdaq was a small gap up we filled and plunged and filled those and then made our way back up all of the lunchtime was flat tried to move higher coming out of lunch failed came back and that's where you get your s p up four points, which is a waste of time. I'm sorry, down four points, which is a waste of time. NASDAQ, look how flat that is. It's just horrible. Non-tradable environment once again, unfortunately. So I'm happy to have pulled off the kind of a big day that we did have because that futures trade was huge. Um, not much in Forex. So we don't have much else to discuss there in terms of economic data coming out on Tuesday here in the U.S. Uh, preliminary non-farm productivity and unit labor costs an hour before the bell, and that's it. So that's not going to move the market much. Uh, we got bigger stuff coming out later in the week. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.